If you look back on your life, you'll realize the greatest days that you've ever lived have been those decisive days where you said, this is the day, this is the moment that this is going to happen. This is the day for a new car. This is the day for a new home. This is the day to start looking for a new job. This is the day that I'm going to ask her or, or him to be a part of my life. Wow. Make this day a special day. You can. Any day can be as special as you make it. This is the day. And you rejoice in this day. For it is a day that the Lord has made. This is a special day. Decide with me right now that this is true. Not an ordinary day, not just a day to go through and fill with wasting time. No, this is the day. There will never be another day exactly like this day. The Lord has made this day, and we rejoice in it. We release all negative thoughts of yesterday for dwelling on the challenges of yesterday would keep us from recognizing the good that is now present, the doors that are now wide open in this day. With each new day, you have an opportunity for a new beginning. Each new day is like a cleared field and it is ready for planting. Your thoughts, your attitudes, and your actions are the seeds you plant. You, cheat, you choose only the seeds that will produce an abundant harvest. A harvest of what? Well, a harvest of love a harvest of joy, a harvest of health, a harvest of prosperity and peace. Today can also be a new beginning for loved ones and friends and co-workers. You rejoice with them, knowing that this new day holds the goodness of God for them as well. Throughout this day, I ask you to use this positive daily affirmation. This is a special God-given day, and I will do my best in it. Say that with me now. This is a special God-given day, and I will do my best in it.